here we have the Hyosung GT250R. It's got a fuel injection V twin 250 along with front double disc brakes and probably one of the best better sounding 250 uh, engines around. The instrument cluster is very well thought out. Hyosung is continuing the trend of digital speedo and analog taco. Also has a very handy clock and fuel gauge. The seat is actually it's pretty wide and surprisingly comfortable over long distances. I did about 100 k's or so non-stop and no problems at all. The engine is very smooth. When you're at the lights, uh, for learners, you're never going to have any problems stalling the bike or over revving it. Thanks to the fuel injection, it's very smooth, very predictable. The combination of the light weight of the bike and the good suspension picks up all the bumps in the road within it without any problems, but it also means that it's also very easy to throw around when you want, but at the same time it's just as fun to just cruise on the freeway. You won't have any problems with that either. But probably the best thing about this bike is the size. I think most people upgrade from 250s because they want a bit more power and for some of the, some of the bigger blokes they can feel a bit you know, embarrassed riding these little pity 250s. But with the GT250R, the frame is almost the same size as the GT650R. So as a result, you don't at any time you do not feel like you're riding a 250. I was at a set of lights yesterday next to some done up cars and honestly they all thought I was some high tech uh, high performance superbike. So if you're young, you know, you might go to uni, you want to impress the ladies on your 250 license, this is the bike for it. At the same time, if you're in your mid-20s, your mid-30s, you want to start getting into motorcycling, but you know, you don't want to get picked on by your mates in their big cars, this is equally the bike for you. At the same time, if you don't want to upgrade from your 250, you know, you're happy with the fuel consumption, you're happy with the really good brakes, the good suspension, the good size. This is what you're after. It's absolutely brilliant. If I had my time again, I absolutely would have gone for this bike. Well, I finally caught up with him. He's not going to like this, but uh, Ivan, you are one of my childhood heroes. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Eh? I was uh, I was a young lad of nine years old when I first saw you at uh, Wimbledon Speedway. You came up. You were you were racing for some other team then. Uh, yeah, uh, Newcastle or Bellevue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you got a bit of stick when you came out, and yeah. I couldn't understand why they were all giving you stick because you yeah. used to race for him a long time ago. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. he's lived at uh, lived down in Plough Lane. I understand. Uh, no, I live near Plough Lane, near, yeah? at uh, Hayden Park Road, so um, it's uh, like the next street over. Yeah. So, um, so you, you've, you've ventured over here to help uh, help out today, have you? Yes, that's right. It's a uh, benefit meeting for uh, Rob Wilkinson. Yep. Um, so I didn't need uh, too much persuasion to come over. Mm. And what do you reckon on the little track here? It's, uh, it's very good. I was just telling a few of the boys. It's, uh, like most of the American tracks, or Californian tracks, and the New York tracks, but this is much wider than yeah. those tracks. Really? Um, most of those tracks are probably only half as wide as this. Mm -hmm. Now what are you doing with yourself nowadays? Um, You're retired now, not doing anything at all? Yeah, Taking no, it easy? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm writing my autobiography at the moment, mm -hmm. and... Um, uh, uh, I'm uh, not doing too much at all, other than I run my training schools around the world several times a year. Mm -hmm. um, I do demonstration rides uh, on speedway 
two or three times a year for anniversaries or different, Fantastic. different reasons. But uh, my surgeon advised me not to do one here tonight because it was too soon. Mm -hmm. I had a major operation on my ankle in uh, April. Yeah, you don't want to risk something like that, do you? No, it's not, not worth it. Well, look, mate, it's really good to see you. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, you were, as I say, a hero of mine. Yeah. Uh, six times world champion. Could have been nine, but yeah. Ollie Olsen stopped you a couple of times, I think. Yeah. Yeah, which was a bit of a disappointment to us yeah. all back then. Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, well, I, I did win nine individuals because I won three long tracks. Uh, I won the world final three years in a row, 68, 69 and 70. And that's the first time it was done. It's actually the only time it's been done, it hasn't been done since. Yeah, and the bike was uh, gold-plated by some Americans, I believe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and then it's sitting in... Uh, it's in museum. my uh, Cannery Museum in Christchurch. In yeah. New yeah, Christchurch. What what happened in Christchurch? Um, Ronnie Moore, Briggsy, yeah. and you. Yeah. It, it's just amazing. It all came out of Christchurch, yeah. you know. You followed each other, yeah, basically. Uh, and we all come from the same side of Christchurch as well. That's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, there's no explanation for it. And, and what about now? Is there anybody there that's up and coming? Uh, yes, I've got a couple of 14 and 114, 115 in my uh, academies the last uh, two years. They're going to be a force in the when they're like 18, 19 mm -hmm. in the under 21 World Championship. Uh, and future possibly world championships, but um, they're very keen at the to at the moment. But um, as with the, so many young riders in well, all around the world, I've got them all around the world. Mm -hmm. um, they're very dedicated when they're 14, 15, and 16, um, and mostly they're not going as good when they're like 26, mm -hmm. you know, 25, 26. So. Um, but hopefully these ones will uh, stick at it. But mm -hmm. there's always an exception, so... Well, let's hope so, because yeah. it'd be nice to see another group of three yeah. riders come through yeah. Yeah. to follow it up. Um, yeah. I don't know what's happening here in Western Australia. There seems to be a bit of a boom here in Western Australia yeah. for Speedway. It's starting to gather, yeah. uh, gather momentum again. Um, I've noticed there's a lot more Speedway on television now. Yeah. I mean, I remember turning on in the 60s, 68, 69, and watching it on, on uh, TV in England. It yeah. was a big night. You'd yeah. sit down and watch yeah. the Speedway. It was a massive yeah. night. Yeah. But that all seemed to drop off, and, and I, I'm, I'm glad to see it starting to make a bit of a comeback yeah. now. BBC World of Sport used to play it. Uh, any, any of the big meetings, that play it on the following Saturday. That's right, yeah, that was fantastic. Well, look, great to see you. Have a great time while you're here, and it's for a great cause, and uh, let's hope uh, let's hope they raise a few bob today as well, and, you know, a bit of recognition for the circuit as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's recognition for the circuit, and uh, Rob Whippenden was one of the organisers of getting this going, uh, so it's a recognition for him, and, uh, you know, it's... Well, I'm, I'm sure he'll be very proud tonight yeah, to, yeah. to see this here, and it's a shame he's not here with us. We watch our three on fire up, Nick Cedar.
riding across India, everyone knows what do you need to have. The most important thing is not the brakes, not the suspension, not the handling. What it is is the horn. So that one's all right now. On Two Wheels is brought to you by the following sponsors.